YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So, I've been using the Solar X for a few days now. Uh, for a quick background, I got this installed. Well, it came in on Thursday. We started the installation Thursday, Friday. We completed it on Saturday. And we ran into a little bit of a challenge, a little bit of a challenge when we're installing it. Um, as you can see, I have two batteries, each for 5.8 kilowatt hours. But if you look to the side, this one is switched off. I only have one battery that's operational right now, and that's that one. Um, the factory, as I was talking to the technicians, they feel that the dial at the top of this battery was not working very well, and that's why I did not recognize the slave battery. And as such, I'm only using the I'm only using one battery, which is substantially below the capacity battery that I normally use. So. What has my experience been so far since I started, since I did this? Um, if you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Uh, once again, Dr. Sola. So we continue. Um, it's important I get subscribers because I get paid for content and um, the content I get paid for allows me to buy some of these things. That I, so far, this is being paid for by me. I want uh, some to come from viewers like you so that I can afford to put out more content. But back to this. So, what has the observation been so far? A little mixed. Um, it runs without a problem. That's number one. It does what it's supposed to do. There is no fan, of course, so it's pretty quiet. Um, let me take you through. So, one of the things I noticed is their charge profiles are weird. If you look right now, you see my batteries are already at 96%. And it takes about an hour, 20 minutes for it to go from say 17 percent to about 95 percent and then it spends another three to four hours at 97 percent and then the sun goes down so so far the battery has not hit 100 percent yet and that's not unusual uh, when you get new batteries it takes a while for them to balance and equalize so you don't get full capacity till about the third or fourth day of charging and discharging them so that's perfectly normal here one experience, however, that I'm having is is that my lights have tripped a few times. Uh, the first time it tripped was on Sunday. I had come home and I put the water pump on and the lights went off. Uh, at the time, Madame, I had an AC on upstairs. Madame was cooking with the hot plates. And when I put the water pump on, it tripped it. And it didn't make any sound. All I noticed was I went to the fridge and there were, there were, the lights in the fridge were off. So you know you open the fridge and there are lights in this case it was black that's when i figured there was no light even though all those displays these displays here were on that's i couldn't tell i didn't have power until i opened the fridge then i put on lights and then i didn't have lights that's when i knew there was no power and then yesterday yesterday it tripped a few times. It tripped when I put my AC in the office on and it just kept tripping. It wouldn't power the AC. Put the AC on, it went off. And then um, same thing happened yesterday evening. We're just sitting around, just the refrigerator on and boom, it trips. So this is where I think the problem is and I'm trying to explain that to the Solar X techs. They're a bunch of very young men who don't really have much field experience but they have ex a lot of experience with, the, with their product. This is where the problem is. You see that off-grid breaker? Okay, it's a residual current device as well. That's what's been tripping. It will trip and light will go out. And I suspect that it might be faulty because at 40 amps, you should be able to handle 8,000 watts. I know my AC is not 8,000 watts. And I also know that the fridge running at no point did it hit 8,000 watts. So I suspect that this device here is faulty and what I'm going to do is I'll buy a replacement and put it in and if it keeps tripping then it's another issue I doubt very much that it will trip again once I replace it um, one thing also that is that when it tri when that trips right and I lose power there is no fault on the inverter normally if there is a fault you would have a red light this light here would be red it was never red so the inverter is not tripping we're not getting to the point where we're pushing the inverter beyond where we should push it. 
okay, just is a residual current device that's failing or that's defective and is what's causing the trip. So I know I'm not getting off to the best start with Solar X, but you know what? Um, quality wise, they've been, give, they've been ranked very high by almost everyone that's used them. So I think these are just aberrations that are happening to me. I don't think it's the norm for the manufacturer because everything I've seen about them so far has been incredible. My friends who have seen them at um, computer shows and people who have commented on my YouTube channels and videos that I've watched of others using them, they've not had any issues. So I'm going to assume that I just got unlucky and got stuff that um, shouldn't be. But the support from the tech team has been very, very strong. I like what... I like the support they've given me. My biggest challenge is trying to manage this small battery. So I still have my AC on all night, but I turn the refrigerator and the freezer off. And then this morning I woke up to 40%, but that 40% is really fictitious because as I said, the battery hasn't fully charged. And once I put a load on the 40%, it really dropped down to 22%. So it will take a while for these batteries to equalize and fully balance and for me to start getting capacity. But having said that, I got more capacity last night than I got the night before and I'm sure I'll get more capacity tonight than I got yesterday and this will keep happening till I see 100% on the charge on the state of charge of the battery so if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up if you had to subscribe click the subscribe button once again this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos Nigeria